Here is an example of a geometric sequence. A geometric sequence is one where you are multiplying or dividing by the same number each time. And so what we say is that this sequence has a common ratio. And that ratio is the number that in this case we're timesing by each time. So we would say that the common ratio is 2 because we're doubling the number each time. We still have A representing the first term in the sequence. So in our case, A is 3. And we now have this common ratio, R, which in this case, as we know, is 2. So if we were going to write this in general terms, for a geometric sequence, we have this first term, A. And then the second term is A times whatever R is. Now, R could be a half, for example. So you could be dividing by 2 each time. But rather than dividing by 2, we can write times by a half. So the second term is A times R. The next term is me multiplying by R again. So it's A times R times R, so A R squared. And then you'd have A R cubed and A R to the 4. And so if you're thinking of this as a position to term rule, then this is the first term, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. And so we're able to come up with an nth term for this sequence. Now, all of the terms have an A in it, so your nth term would have to have an A. They all have R to the power of something apart from this one, but you could see this as R to the power of 0. So you could write that as R to the power of 0, if you like. So then, if we put this as A R to the 1, you can see that the power of R is always 1 less than the position OK, so 1, 0, 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 3, 5, 4. So the power for R is always 1 less than the position. And so it's n minus 1. And so this is the nth term of a geometric sequence. OK, so in our case up here, we had that the first term was 3, the common ratio was 2. So the nth term for this sequence is A times R to the power of n minus 1. And so if you try and check, so with the fifth term, for example, you've got 3 times 2 to the 5 minus 1. So 5 minus 1. So 3 times 2 to the 4. Now, 2 to the 4 is 2, 4, 8, 16, which makes you 48. OK? And so this nth term generates this sequence as required.